My name is Kathy Rensenbrink and I'm here for the bookseller with Karen Joy Fowler, whose novel We Are All Completely Beside Ourselves is coming out in the UK in March. Um, Karen, I enjoyed the book very much. There's a huge, a huge part of the plot that I don't want to reveal um, because I would like other readers to experience the joy of the narrative shock um, in the same way that I did. But it's difficult, isn't it? It's a book that really you have to talk about without trying not to talk about it. About it. Yes, it's been very, very tricky. I, uh, when I conceived of the book, I had the reader very much in mind and what I wanted the reader to know at this point and what I didn't want them to know yet and when I wanted them to know this. And, um, and I had, I, I felt and still feel good reasons, but mm -hmm. I did not um, really stop and think at all about the challenge that I was creating for anybody trying to market the book, anybody trying to review the book. Um. I think it's also important to say I was enjoying the book hugely before the big reveal. Oh, that's nice so to know. For the first 77 pages I was captured completely by the voice of Rosemary, our narrator. Thank Do you, you want to tell us a bit about her? Rosemary is a, a woman in her 40s at the time that she's telling her story and it is she, she's very directly telling the story. So. When I say I was very conscious of what I wanted the reader to know, um, Rosemary is the, actually the one mm -hmm. deciding when to say certain things and when not to say certain things. Um, and she does keep a pretty careful control over the narrative. Um, she's talking mostly about events that happened when she was a college student or um, when she was about five years old. Mm -hmm. So. Um, something that comes into the book is uh, the unreliability of memory. And um, it's a book about family, isn't it? It's a book about siblings. I hope it's not giving too much away to say that it's also what it might be like growing up as the, ch as the child or children of scientists. Yes. Um, when I started writing the book, um, th there were things involving the big surprise that I had to do a lot of research for, the things that... I did not know enough about to carry it off. Um, but the one thing I did not really have to do a lot of research about was what it's like to be the child of a, <laughs> of a scientist. Um, my father was a, an animal behaviorist mm -hmm. and, uh, who ran rats through mazes. And mm -hmm. So I feel there can be few people in the world who have the nostalgic pull to the smell of rat cages <laughs> that I do. It's a book about ethics, it's extremely thought-provoking, it's also very funny um, and it's also devastatingly heartbreaking in places. And um, Was that a conscious decision to have all those qualities in the mix? I find that, um, that the more upset I am about a certain thing, the funnier I get, mm. that it's uh, I assume it's a coping mechanism, mm -hmm. but I also think um, that the books that I tend to want to reread frequently are, are the funnier books. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I'm hoping that I can deal with some subjects that actually distress me, mm -hmm. but uh, do it in a way that is still enjoyable. Because obviously one of the questions apparently the authors really dislike is where did you get your ideas from? But it's a, it's a brilliant answer, isn't it? Well, yes, you know, usually when I'm asked that question, the creation of a novel is such a slow accretion of lots of different ideas and thoughts that it's a very, very hard question to answer. But in the case of this book, it's quite easy. Mm -hmm. um, it was um, the millennial new year, and we had gone back to... Indiana, which is where I grew up and where my father worked. Um, he died before my daughter was born, so she'd never met him, but I was taking her around the campus and showing her where the lab was and, um, and talking to her about other uh, psychologists at IU and what uh, their work had been. And it was in the process of that conversation that she said, oh, that's what you should write about. Mm -hmm. That's what your next book should be. Well, I should look forward to seeing the book much discussed. I'm sure everybody will be giving away the contents of the plot. But it won't be you. It won't be me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>